Can the new energy car drive like a boat in the rainstorm day? Welcome to the CATL Tech Explainer with me, Dr. C. Today, we are going to discuss whether it's safe to drive your electric vehicle through deep water. First of all, you can be assured that, under most circumstances, electric vehicles are able to wade through water because the wading capacity of EVs is higher than that of a fuel car due to its absence of intake, exhaust port and engine. In addition, the battery pack is also designed to be extremely waterproof. Their level of protection compatibility is described using something called the IP rating. Many of you probably heard that some smartphones are rated IP67 or IP68 for water resistance. But what does this really mean? IP stands for ingress protection, which refers to the level of resistance against the entry of unwanted solids and liquids. The IP rating is composed to two numbers. The first number indicates the level of protection against solid objects, particularly dust. This ranges from 0 to 6, with 6 being the highest level. The second number indicates the level of protection against moisture and water, ranging from 1 to 8, with 8 being the highest level. Generally, the IP rating for AV battery pack should be IP67. 6 indicates complete protection against dust. 7 indicates the water protection level that allows the battery pack to remain watertight when running in depth of up to 1 meter of water for a time of up to 30 minutes. This is generally enough to ensure the waterproof performance of electric vehicles. Plus, it's rare to see a vehicle to be immersed with water for continuously 30 minutes above. At CATL, though, we'll make sure everything is absolutely alright. We have increased the waterproof rating of our battery packs from the industry standard IPX7 to the higher IPX8 degree. During testing, we subjected our battery system to 36 hours of comprehensive vibration conditions followed by 48 hours of submersion, meaning an incredible 96 times longer than the standard 30 testing minutes. We also performed a cold and heat shock test by alternating between 0 degrees Celsius and 60 degrees water temperature for 12 consecutive cycles. Guess what? After all these tests, our battery pack remained bone dry. This means that the battery pack can still be used normally even after being subjected to heavy rain for long periods of time. At the same time, we have also set bottom impact test and squeeze tests to ensure that each battery pack meets safety standards, preventing damage even when encountering potholes and uneven roads during rainy weather. In conclusion, electric vehicles have safety measures in place that guarantee you need not to worry about driving through moderate deep water in case you get caught in extreme conditions. However, you shouldn't treat your car like a boat. If you really need to go out in extreme weather, we remind you to remember the following points. First, remember to take note of the depth of the water you'll be driving through. Generally, water that reaches no higher than the half of the height of the wheel hub can be safely passed. Second, try to keep a uniform speed during driving to prevent your car's chassis from being scratched by road stones and puddles. Third, if there you had an accident during driving that prevented you from driving your vehicle normally, please do remain calm and break the window to escape and seek rescue. That's all for today's episode. Thank you for joining our CATL Tech Explainer. Stay curious and keep powering forward.